Life is pain, brutal and short. The challenges we face during our brief sojourn on this tiny blue marble are what make us human. They light a fire in our soul. They make it all worth something. Without them, we are lost. Yeah, it's a little early in the day for an existential crisis, but luckily I came prepared. For this failed salary man, all it took to get that fiery passion back was to save this butt-chin child from a crab monster in underwear. That was a sentence. This man was Saitama, and he was going to be a superhero. And so he trained, pushing his body beyond its limits and shattering the boundaries of humanity. So hard, his friggin' hair fell out. Saitama's strength grew exponentially day by day, with the goal of becoming the greatest hero who ever lived. And much to his horror, that's exactly what he got. Solo me tomo un golpe. Maldición! He became too strong. He became the one, the only, the infamous, Kate Baldy. But anyone who's cool knows him as One Punch Man, as in he can't help but beat almost every opponent he's faced in exactly one punch. One friggin' punch! Now, to be clear, his superpower isn't that he can magically destroy anything in one punch. It's not like he got bitten by a radioactive Mary Sue. He's just so cartoonishly stronger than every other character in his universe that he might as well have. And this is a universe with some pretty whacked out monsters, like a giant who's over a quarter of a kilometer tall and can stomp city-sized craters into the earth. Or an esper who can effortlessly pull giant meteors from outer space. Or a monster king who shaved off a con it from the Earth's surface and lifted it into the stratosphere. And Saitama's never even broken so much as a sweat fighting any of them. During their battle, that same Monster King absorbed this huge chunk of the Earth's core and fired it at Saitama. Who blocked it by squirt gunning some lava at it. The lava he was bathing in, naked. And then he punched him. Surprise! Saitama's created after images just by hopping side to side, defeated a martial arts master with his butt, and survived the inhospitable vacuum of space after being kicked all the way to the moon and before jumping back to Earth in about 16 seconds. That's 8% the speed of light. Kinda like the time he blocked attacks from this alien dude who stated to move near light speed or punch so fast his fist starts to blue shift. You know, that thing that happens when you approach the speed of light? That's actually a phenomenon I replicated with my homemade particle accelerator. You mean that one you made out of old microwaves and 2x4s from Home Depot? I work on a strict budget, okay? And if a city or two gets vaporized because of the resulting structural failures, well, progress doesn't look backwards. All too true. Well, while Wiz and I pretend that that never happened, come back in a few days as we cover Saitama's opponent, Popeye the Sailor Man.